All right, we got to our basic room, and I figured I'd help you get down to some more details. I was able to get the windows duplicated. I mentioned it in the first video, and then I never did it. When you select a window that you already like, you can hit duplicate and then put it here or put it wherever. Um, I'm going to delete it because I have my three windows. Um, I want to name my closet. When I clicked over here, there wasn't an obvious closet label or if you just simply want to label something else um, i'm going to click on other room yes other room okay now i can type closet and that would take it so we're good for that all right um details if you're coming over on the left hand side there's your library there's construction there's catalogs and there's finishes so out of those three things you can really add a ton of details to your space so I would absolutely draw everything from top view, 2D, bird's eye perspective, et cetera. Get all the measurements in, get your walls built. Um, one other thing I wanna mention, the wall height is gonna standard come up as nine foot two. Um, my house does not have ceilings that high, so I'm gonna bring them back down. Average is eight feet tall. My wall thickness isn't nine inches thick either. It's at most six and a half. So I'm just gonna put it at six inches and go with that. Okay, now, as you know, you can work in 2D mode or you can come over here to the top corner and you can flip between 3D and 2D. When we're doing some of the details such as flooring or walls, we will work in 3D, but for right now, I'm gonna continue working in 2D. So I'm gonna come over here for construction. If you want to look at the headings here, windows, wall openings, doors, columns and beams, railings, moldings, stairs, skylights. Wouldn't that be cool? Let's do a skylight. So click on that. I love the idea of a skylight. We can see it here. Let's see what it does. We can play with that. You would think you can turn it. Ooh. So we'll just see what that does. Um, I would assume we're gonna have to fuss with that. So for right now, I'll come back. Okay, so that was construction doors we already picked. Um, if I really wanna be particular, which I am, maybe I can look at all my styles of doors. Oh, uh, I really want a barn door instead. So maybe I come through here, I'm like, well, maybe I want a barn door actually in my closet. I need an opening. So why don't I stick a barn door here? It's going to be on the outside here. All right. And I'm not sure what that looks like. What's it look like? So let's come over to the 3D. Whoa. Yeah, that is nice. That looks good. I want to make sure my door is covering the opening. And look over here. I think our skylight was a fail. It, it adhered to the wall. I'm going to delete. I've got to figure out that some more. Maybe you guys will be some experts and help me. All right. So if I'm turning around here, you can see that we have that curved opening that's going into our closet. Um, but let me spin this around. Woo! Okay, so here we are. That looks good. My other door doesn't match though. So you could play this game all day and say, well, maybe if I want my bedroom door to be more like this style and click on that and all right. So a lot of this gives you choice um, and you can scroll through for minutes say well, what do i really want for a door i would personally like these to match but i'm not going to spend time doing that right now um so let's go into our catalog now i'm working on my bedroom so why don't we click on bedroom let's see what we have to to offer here i'm going to click back over to 2d mode um there are definitely some some options here click on that fancy bed that's a big bed I also probably have a smaller bedroom. Um, maybe that's too big. So I'll just delete, come over here. Yeah, that bed fits much better in here. Gives us enough room on either side. If I want to spin it or maybe select it and put it here, wouldn't this be fun in re the real world? Just to let's move that window over a little bit and um, make sure that the bed fits a little bit better. So I'll move it so they're both windows are two feet from the corner. Yes, I am a little particular there. Um, 
So we can scroll down through here. There is a way to search. So if you just wanted to come up here and write bed, and see what it comes up with. That, that helped. Um, you're gonna have to find a lot of details. And sometimes it's easier just to write bed. Um, at this point, you also wanna look at I would say dressers or night tables or armoires or accessories, et cetera. I'm going to um, put night tables. I, guess, I would assume that's a small table that would go. And it says, oops. <laughs> okay, so go back to bedroom for a minute. Let's see if we can. Um, trying to get rid of that for a second. All right. Catalog, bedroom, dressers, bureaus. Here we go. Beautiful. We'll put one here. We'll stick it here. I want to turn it, spin, make sure you know where the front of it is. You might have to spin it around again. Um, so if I get more items in here, then we can look at it in 3D mode. You can look at that all the time. I'm going to go to finish. So you can do wallpaper or paint, um, mosaics, tiles, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I'm going to click on the floor. I know that I can select my floor this way. If it has a blue highlight, then I can completely change it. Um, wild and crazy, let's make it look like water. And it didn't do it. <laughs> here it is. Okay, it did work. If you're looking at the 3D mode over here, um, it shows that, yes, I did successfully make my bedroom floor look like I'm in the pool. It's giving you guys ideas, I can tell. All right, here's my beautiful AstroTurf. Um, do I like that better? I want to select where I want to go. Um, realistically, I'm going to go with wood. Select. Click, yes, here we go, that's fine. Um, and you guys will notice that you have many, many choices. So I'm gonna select the wall now. Let's go into wallpaper. Find one that you like, that could be a while. Um, I'll put right there, ta-da, all right. Um, and you're gonna say, oh yeah, no, I don't like that. Okay, well, select this, we'll go with that one. And then you can decide, yes, I like yellow with that turquoise door. Or, oh, gosh, I don't like that yellow with that turquoise door. Or I don't like that turquoise door at all. So this is just fun to play with. Um, you can spend a lot of time just getting into the details. So getting the right order of events here. It's not, <laughs> it's not clicking what I want. Um, I'm going to slow down my request, I guess. All right, there it goes. Okay. Um, Going between your 2D and 3D modes will be helpful when you're getting the details in here. Um, make sure you hit save. This is not going to save for you automatically. You want to continuously save, and you'll hear me say that a lot. Um, but have fun with this. Come over to the finishes, um, the catalogs. You can pick different rooms. And if it's just too much, you're like, oh, geez, I don't know, um, then you can look in the search box and type something in there. You will have to do lighting. There's pages and pages and pages of lighting. Not all of the lighting that I personally want is gonna be a little lamp. I want some lights in the ceiling and they have that option. So you can scroll, 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 or you can um, search for it. So just for fun, we'll pick something and we'll stick it in there. And that is pretty big. So guess what? If I think it's too big, I can shrink it. Right. If I want that in my closet, I could pretend it's like a, a disco ball, whatever. OK, but if that's what you want, you're done with that. Hit save. Always hit save. Always, always, always. OK. Um, and that's all I'm going to say for this one. All right. Good luck.